Hey there, I'm really excited to share something with you tonight. I have spent the day, two days, in some training that was, I felt kind of like I may have uh, imposter syndrome. There were CEOs and company presidents and founders from uh, the capital region where I, where I live and work. And I was invited to, to take part and it was great. It was very thought provoking. But as I looked around the room for eight hours over two days, I realized that these are very, very powerful people. These are people with lots of influence and impact. And as we got to know each other in small groups and breakouts and some individual shares, something very, very interesting came. There was a thread across all of us, all of them, I should say. And that is that none of them reached their level of success. Number one, without struggle. And number two, without assistance from others. It's interesting. There was a marathon runner who just crushed a record recently. And that marathon runner had different pace runners, like uh, pace setters and, and uh, support, a support network all the way through the race, which made great sense. And it was amazing. And the time that he got was incredible and so on. But he didn't do it alone. He did it with a team. People I met with for the last two days are in healthcare and marketing and at the tops of law firms and at the tops of hospitals and healthcare systems and complete giant corporations and financial institutions and banks and credit unions and all of them to a person expressed that they had people along the way that gave them a boost and gave them some help. And it's so interesting because these are, a lot of these men and women that we shared the last few days were definitely type A driven, driven, driven folks, right? And none of them in any, and I looked for this, none of them in their, in their discussion of the help and the boosts and the hands up and the and the uh, support that they've received over the years and their success and the path to where they are now. None of them referred to that as weakness, as negative, as a shortcoming, as some kind of reflection on them that they couldn't do it themselves. No, everyone seemed to take it as, well, of course there was a team behind me. Of course, I couldn't do it without this assistance, without these mentors, without these role models, without this assistance. They were honest enough to say, why wouldn't I take advantage of opportunities, good will and support in this world? It's okay to reach out for help. It's okay to accept help because you're probably the type of person that would give another person help. It's important that we see that there's no dress rehearsal for life. We're going through, everyone goes through tough times, everyone. You know something, those folks in the room the last few days, I'd say 98% of them made more in a month than I'll make it a year or two. And that's all right. What I saw there was that we're again, more alike than different and if there is something other than their drive, if there is something that we can replicate, it is that acceptance that we are not super heroes. Those are for the movies and the comic books, but we are human beings that need support once in a while. Be willing to take that support. Social distancing and COVID and, and all that we've gone through in the last couple of years really has pointed to the fact that we can get by through Zoom and virtual this and that. We can make do, we can, we can uh, mask up and distance and isolate for a while, but we're not gonna thrive that way. We need people, we need one another. As our world gets smaller, take advantage of the relationships and connections. We are all better for it. Have a great day, great night, and until next time.